marketing is almost like a living, breathing thing. It's constantly evolving and changing as technology continues to improve. Hi, I'm Megan Simone and I own Social Synergy Company, a marketing agency that aims at helping businesses thrive. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how I started and failed my first businesses. Before I got into providing marketing services for businesses, I actually started and failed a number of businesses along the way. So believe it or not, my first business was selling shower heads. Sounds really weird, kind of right off the bat, but it was during the whole drop shipping craze. I don't know if you guys were aware of what was going on at the time, but around 2017, 2018, there was a huge craze about drop shipping. So if you don't know, drop shipping is where you order products as the orders are coming in and you purchase the products directly from the manufacturer and the manufacturer ships it directly to the customer. So you actually don't have to keep any inventory or any products um, that are being sent to you. It gets sent straight to the customer. So this is a really um, cool and unique business model that I thought, hey, why don't I try to take advantage of this? So I decided to start selling shower heads. The drop shipping concept was really simple but very difficult to execute. After spending months upon months of studying the industry how it worked I then jumped into spending even more months on developing this business so I built an entire full-scale website with online store I built social media accounts I registered my business in the state of Arizona and I launched a marketing campaign on Facebook and Instagram advertising to push people towards my product unfortunately it didn't go as I expected and in the eyes of many people people would say that I failed and that's okay I wasted a couple hundred dollars, but I learned some really valuable lessons that I've taken with me to go and build more successful businesses. So here are the top three things that I learned from failing my first business. Firstly, people buy from people. So it's incredibly important to build business relationships with the people that you are looking to sell your service or your product to. People wanna know who you are, what you do, what your backstory is, and they really wanna to get to know you as a person rather than get to know the company as a brand, although that is important too. Uh, but people buy from people. So who can vouch for you and your product? Who can vouch that you're doing a great job? What customer reviews do you have that proves that your service or product is really great? And ultimately, having human touch is crucial when it comes to business to business sales or business to consumer sales. Secondly, I learned that marketing is a really challenging but really beautiful art form. And I do consider it an art form. Marketing is almost like a living, breathing thing. It's constantly evolving and changing as technology continues to improve. It really is a science and an art form all built into one because you're looking at ways you can apply data creatively to create something that someone is going to enjoy. The more you learn about your target audience, the more you can craft the perfect message just for them that really resonates with them. And the last and most important thing I learned from starting and failing this business was to absolutely never give up on your dreams. Even though the business failed, I celebrate the fact that I did sell one shower head. And that might not seem like much to many people, but that's okay. That one shower head gave me the push to continue going on my entrepreneurial journey. And it really showed me that if you keep pushing, you will get results. If you keep trying out new things, if you keep learning, exploring, communicating with your customer, you're gonna learn what works and what doesn't. And it might take a lot of time. It might take weeks, months, even years to really develop that. But once you have that, you've hit the jackpot. That one shower head sale gave me the courage and the motivation to keep going, to try out new business ideas, to keep pursuing my passions, and to ultimately continue my journey as an entrepreneur and learn what works and what doesn't, as well as setting up businesses that are successful, like the business I have today. So rest in peace, Saluna H2O. Uh, it was a wild ride, but I am so thankful for the lessons that I've learned. Thanks again, guys, so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you have any questions about starting your business, any questions about marketing or social media management, 
feel free to reach out to me. We provide a lot of great services to businesses who are looking to get started. And I would be so happy to work with you and talk with you a little bit more about that. So thanks again. Comment below if you have started or failed a business before, and how that worked, and what lessons you've learned along the way as an entrepreneur. Thanks so much.